It's okay, it's okay. I'm doing this safely. I've used a knife before. Hey friends, I'm Katie and today I'm super excited to show y'all how to make some super sparkly melt and pour soap. We'll be using a clear glycerin soap base with a bright eco glitter to make our bars shine bright like a diamond. Let's do this. I've started off with my soap base cut into little chunks and this will allow it to melt more evenly. I'll be using our handy dandy microwave to melt this base, but you can also use a double boiler if you prefer. While your soap is melting, you can get your colorant ready. Make sure the mica glitter powder is dispersed evenly throughout the soap or use isopropyl alcohol. Look at that glitter. Oh yeah. Okay, now our soap base is melted and it's ready for our additives. I'm gonna start by adding our fragrance oil. Today I'll be using Jasmine by AFI. Okay, now that I have that together, I'm gonna give it a good stir. Wow, that smells luxurious. Now that we have those two mixed together, I'm gonna grab that color mixture that we just did and add that in. Whoa. And give that a good stir. To make these bars sparkly enough to live up to their name, I'm gonna be adding in some eco glitter. I oh, will probably do a lot. So I love a good shimmer. That is gorgeous. Now that I have this all mixed up, I'm gonna add it into a pouring pitcher for an easier pour into our soap mold. And do this carefully. Now I'm going to grab my soap molds and start pouring. Now we have this all poured in, I'm going to use my isopropyl alcohol and give it a good spritz. This will make sure that our soap doesn't have any bubbles. Now that we've got these all poured in, we're going to let these set for about 24 hours, so I'll see you guys then. Okay everyone, it's been a couple days and I'm back with my soap. It's completely solidified by now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my parchment paper out and lay it down so I can have a clean workspace. Awesome, I've been so excited to get these out. This is seriously one of my favorite things to make so far. Oh my gosh, did those turn out perfectly? Once we get these soaps out of the mold, we can leave them as is, and that is completely fine. I mean, they look great right now, but I'm a little extra, and I'm gonna wanna cut them into little gem shapes just for an extra edge on this. And that's it, your super sparkle soap bars are done. It costs us less than 50 cents to make each of these bars. You can sell each one wholesale for 50 cents to a dollar and retail for two to four dollars. Bundle them up and offer discounts to customers who may buy multiple at a time. We've got tons of other DIYs here on our channel for you to try. So be sure to check out our playlist for more. Leave us a like and hit that subscribe button so we can be sure to see you guys in the next one. Until then, my name is Kate and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!